Good luck. Now, to do. To do. Earlier this year, Aaron decided to leave GB Taekwondo's National Academy after he lost at the World Championships. Now he trains on his own every morning at a gym on the outskirts of Manchester. Yeah, it was an extremely hard de uh, you know, decision. Like I say, this year, it was, it was a horrendous year for me at the start of the year. You know, I couldn't win a match and my confidence was you know, at all-time low before the World Championships. I was world number one going into the World Championships. You know, it, just, it just didn't come off for me and I lost my first match. And, you know, we had to look look back what was what was going wrong this year, and you know we sat down as a family and made the decision that you know they kept changing my coach, and you know I wasn't allowed to go to the competitions I wanted to, and um, I just wasn't happy, wasn't enjoying my taekwondo, and I think that's the most important thing. You, any any line of work you're in, you know you've got to, you've got to enjoy what you do first. As with every athlete, they have the right to make their own choices, they drive their own programs inside and outside the academy program, but he has uh, he has his own setup and and he's looking to prepare the best he can. Aaron's now free to pick and choose who he works with. And one of the men in his corner is Manchester United's former fitness coach, a man who's worked with the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Roy Keane and Ryan Giggs. There's a metal determination inside them, you know, there's something steely in there, you know, um, that's, that's, that you only find in certain players. I, I found in Paul Scholes, in um, Roy Keane, Ryan Giggs, people like that, they have something really, really special and, uh, and Aaron's definitely got some of that.